Hello everybody, welcome back to another quick mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters in version 6. We're going to use some new functionality that just came out a couple days ago, and I'm going to show you how to do this in like 2 or 3 minutes max. I see lots of 15 minute videos. This is a quick thing to do. Let's go. Here's an example. Here's a lady, a picture I've got of her, and then bang, I put her in there. I changed up some prompts, and here we go. We've got her reading a book. Three of these four images are quite good, even though she's got a little bit too much um, of that plasticky look to her skin, but that's okay. Her image is also kind of a little bit plasticky, so keep that in the back of your head. And then here we go. Here's another example. The bottom left one's good. The bottom right one's good. The top right one's pretty good. I mean, they're all pretty good. And then here she is in cyberpunk style, and it is her exact face. This isn't a consistent character. This is like a perfectly consistent character. All right, how did I do it? I'm going to show you. Start your timer. We're looking at a two minute process. First step, grab an image that you want to work with. I'm going to grab this image here of this redheaded lady that I've just saved here. I'm going to drag and drop it into Discord here, into the Midjourney bot, and then I'm going to press enter. Once you've done that, you're going to have an image in here. You have to press enter or this won't work, by the way. It's a little weird. Um, then when you have the image here, right click on it and just go copy link. We're going to use that in a second. So we've copied the link. Now all you need to do is this forward slash imagine. And then we're going to go uh, attractive. We don't have to do that even, but redhead, redhead lady reading a book. Okay. So we've just got a prompt in there. So we want her reading a book. Now I'm going to hit space bar. Then I'm going to hit the dash twice, dash, dash, C-R-E-F. This is character reference or C-Ref as they call it. And then I'm going to hit space bar. And now I'm going to copy in that link I saved earlier. So I'm just going to hit command V. I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's control V and paste that in there. Now, the last step is if I want her to be wearing the same outfit, then I'm just going to go dash, dash, CW space 100. What this means is it's just going to leave it as is. If I want the mid journey to try on some different outfits, maybe put her in a pink outfit and a blue dress or something like that, or just have some latitude to make some changes, I'm going to press CW dash dash CW and I'm going to press zero so that it changes her, her, her dress, but it keeps her face the same. So let's just do it regularly. It's going to be dash dash CW 100. I'm going to hit enter. And then watch this. And when I come back, you'll see what we got and we'll call it a day. All right, welcome back. So let's just click, like I can already tell these are outstanding. I'm gonna click on it here. Remember, this is the original image. Just keep that in the back of your head. Bang, look at that. Look at this top left image. That is fantastic. The bottom right one is fantastic. The top right one is pretty good, but her, she's got a little bit of a vacant stare there. And the bottom left one is a little off, but those ones are great. I would just hit U4 to upsample or upscale the fourth one upsample the first one. That is it, guys. That is how you create amazing consistent characters in seconds. Thanks for watching.